Welcome back to Views with the Hughes of Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes. I'm going to go ahead and get right into this first story. So a flood of rumors we are seeing regarding possible, you know, casting in Disney Star Wars Ahsoka Season 2. And they were careful about what this revealed for a specific reason, the Disney Insider, but somehow maybe a trap. Now, remember, this is a rumor and has not been proven true. OK, and there's also maybe some big information trick up there to trick any employees to leaking leak any information. All right. Now, this Disney Insider says that Lucasfilm and Disney Star Wars are intentionally putting out all sorts of rumors so that some of them may turn out to be misinformation right now. So we need to be careful about believing which are true and which are not or any specific report. Now, they may or may not include certain characters like Abeloff appearing in Disney Star Wars Ahsoka Season 2, as well as who might be playing her. Now, there appear to also be a couple of reasons for the leaks right now. First, it is an effort to bring back fan interest and drum up hopeful conversation after the abysmal reaction to the Disney Star Wars, the Acolyte. And secondly, the rumors are being used to try to attempt to track and catch leakers inside the company. So this Disney insider is still cautious about falling into that trap from Bob Iger as they were on um, when they announced the Grand Admiral Throne would be cast in Ahsoka six, six, um, season one before it was confirmed. Now, this time... All this Disney Insider will be allowed to put out there is that the casting for Ahsoka Season 2 is indeed going on right now. And the fans are really going to be going to like the choices as to where this show is going. And this includes Luke Skywalker as well as character. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and make this up for clips. But remember, this is all rumor has been and has not been proven true. But there's also some tricks out there for misinformation to be leaked out there. But. The Disney Insider is willing to release some juicy information as to why the Disney stock has been suddenly tanking and why Forbes journalist Caroline Reed went on the attack regarding the Disney parks, okay? And that was in the yesterday article, but apparently Bob Iger made a strategic blunder and is now being forced to cover himself. Now, basically, here's what happened. You see, as a part of his effort to woo over the top, top investors to support his um, shaking control over Disney after the, the whole Nelson Pell shareholder revolt, Bob Iger arranged for a top five individual um in the disney um investors and their families to get a special vip tour of the parks now bob Iger hope they will enjoy the rides and bob Iger's plans for expanding the facilities but instead disney investors were left grumbling after their kids were not entertained which may have worried bob Iger, and they were unimpressed with the state of you know the parks and the plans for the future but soon after that their unhappiness began to filter back into the other wealthy wealthy um, investor Disney investor Wells started to sell in their Disney stock. Now Bob Iger is not panicking and trying to rebuild the leverage inside the company to make major changes in the um Disney strategy parks strategy. And this is why Forbes is certainly giving detailed critiques of parks and suggestions for improvement. Now these are Bob 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 Iger talking points that Bob Iger himself need to get back to the board and parks executives to force a shift in strategy. And if the article humiliates the Bob Iger ambitious rival, Josh DeMauro, chairman of Disney Experiences, who have been who's been on position himself to replace Bob Iger at all the better. But leave it to Bob Iger to turn an embarrassment of his own creation into a weapon to use against his enemies instead of talking, taking accountability of his failures. Kathleen Kennedy, excuse me, Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Hedlin should take note. OK, but on that front. The Disney Insider also says that Bob Iger remains committed to putting out the rest of the Disney Star Wars, The Acolyte by Leslie Hedlund and Kathleen Kennedy. And despite the calls for the fans to cut Disney Star Wars and Lucasfilm's losses and pull the plug on The Acolyte. Now, Bob Iger sees this letting um, Disney Star Wars, The Acolyte, play out as necessary evil in order to destroy Kathleen Kennedy, who's been such a thorn in his side. So sadly... Disney Star Wars, the acolyte will not disappear for now, but it remains possible that perhaps in 60 to 90 days after it was finished to its run, Disney Star Wars, the acolyte could face the same fate as the other Kathleen Kennedy project, pet project debacle Willow and being raised from Disney Plus. Now, for those who feel that the Disney Star Wars, the acolyte and its continued presence on screen for a few more weeks will further destroy the um, Star Wars brand. Guess what? Bob Iger apparently has decided that Star Wars fans are so beaten up, beaten down by the bad content that they will just take it um like a defeated fighter. 
But the Star Wars fans seem to be actually swallowing Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Headland cocktail in hopes that better Star Wars is coming once this storm has passed. But that's not happening since the majority of the fans have already checked out. Okay. And so we have Bob Iger playing the game with only one goal in mind. A Bob Iger victory over Kathleen Kennedy and Disney Star Wars. Now Bob Iger gouged his um gouged his victims perfectly and knows just how much he can squeeze before the star system slipped through his grasp. But whatever you people think about Bob Iger, good or bad, no Bob Iger knows um how to save his own butt. Okay. And he's saving his own butt by simply not taking accountability for his failures as well as his actions and stuff, his decisions. But at the same time, go ahead and take credit for the stuff that are successful and stuff, even the stuff that wasn't even his. Okay. But the fact of the matter is, Kathleen Kennedy and um, Leslie Helen, well, most likely, you know, I want to say Kathleen Kennedy is on a hot seat, but she's not. I guarantee you that she got a lot of goods on Bob Iger and Bob Iger hates it because of the fact that like, as we saw in the second set of Disney takes from James O'Keefe, we see that the person who was interviewed or talking on that date admitted that, you know, Bob Iger wants to keep the power and stuff. And that's why he wants to stay CEO. It seems to me that Kathleen Kennedy being the thorn in the side is actually trying to make him less powerful and stuff, you know, and Bob Iger probably doesn't like that at all. But fact of the matter is, <laughs> Bob Iger still has up here battle to go. So, yeah, this is all turned out to be interesting. But like I said earlier in the video, this is all rumor that's been leaked out there. Um, Be careful with any information, good or bad and stuff. If it seems a little too good to be true, then make sure you take it with a grain of salt. OK, even if it's my reporter, be sure to take it with a grain of salt because of the fact of the matter, this is all rumor. And now we see here that the leaks going out there stating that the leaks that are coming out there may we may have to um be careful with how we take them in because they start to become misinformation. All right. And this is where Bob Iger as well as Kathleen Kennedy they are trying to sift through of who's which employees are trying to put out there the different misinformation. OK, and putting out the leaks and stuff, because they even if it's misinformation, they're hoping that this can get out there. So that way they can go ahead and find out who this um, person is, even when it comes to like um those who are putting out their false leaks and stuff like 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 as you all say have said before with Sparrow and stuff, even if it's Sparrow leaking this stuff, going to make sure they're trying to figure out who's doing these leaks where they're working and stuff. So that way they can go ahead and let them go. So that way they can keep control of the company as well as the narrative and make sure that the people out there, the public and normies don't get wind of what's being put out there. So that way they won't lose bank and they can go ahead and continue to make money off this whole woke ideology stuff put into the different content. Okay. So let me know your thoughts about this in comments below. Do you think that this is all a lie or do you think that, you know, this is all a push for Bob Iger to keep control? How do you, what do you think about this whole thing about the misinformation being put out there and the leaks that are, uh, are supposed to be rumor or may be proven true so remember we've had like a lot of leaks back then you know put out there i even reported some out of stuff that turned out to be false and then some that also turned out to be true and the fact of the matter is be sure to take in the grain of salt and keep all of this in the back of your mind for just in case it come back up in the future so let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below also you, if you enjoy what i share in this video go ahead and smash the like button share far wide cross social media and if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed all the content that i put out there go ahead subscribe, subscribe to the channel click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates until then peace